Hey, what is up guys? My name is Oleg, this is Bond. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel and like the content, maybe subscribe. I'm really excited about today's video because I get to unbox Vostok Amphibia. I finally bought one. Well, I actually bought one about two months ago, but it's finally here. So, let's open the box. All right guys, so here's the package that the watch ships in. I gotta tell you, I'm really excited to open this package up. I received it this morning and uh, I had to wait pretty much all day before I could open it because I didn't have time to film the unboxing and I didn't want to open it uh, just by myself. I wanted to share this experience with you guys. Now, one thing about this uh, watch and about the seller, I bought mine on uh, eBay. I forgot the seller's name, uh, but it, it's not Moscow Time Sellers. Uh, Moscow Time Sellers is where I bought this watch here. That's the Vostok Komandivsky. And I actually bought two of these uh, from that seller and the shipping was great and the seller was great. However, he didn't have this specific model in stock. So I bought it from a different seller and the seller was great. Well, I mean, we'll see how the watch is. But the shipping for the watch took so long. Uh, I ordered mine at the beginning of March and uh, now it's uh, mid-April and I just received it so it took over uh, over two months uh, sorry it's middle of uh, May right now so it took over two months uh, for for the watch to arrive so <laughs> I am super excited because I've been waiting to purchase this watch and I've been waiting to have it in my collection for a very long time anyways enough rambling on so this is just a simple plastic box if you watched any unboxing or review videos of Vostok Amphibia, you know that they come in these plastic boxes. Let me figure out how to open it. All right, and here is the watch. Just instruction manual. Okay. Ah, that looks good. That, that looks and feels good screw down crown it's already taking I guess from all the shaking of the box so I went for this uh, this one here the reference number for this one is one two zero six five six now the reason why I went for this specific model uh, there are actually a few different reasons one is the rubber strap so if you again are familiar with these Vostok Amphibia watches you know that they are infamous for their a terrible quality of bracelets those bracelets tend to pull out hairs on the regular basis so it's a given that you have to replace uh, the uh, bracelet that they come on and uh, the second reason why I went for this particular case style and dial I wanted to have that scuba dude but I didn't want to go for the uh, 710 so 710 case you know the square one because I already have this watch and this watch has kind of a very similar case shape with that uh, short lug to lug uh, width. Uh, so I didn't want to have two watches that are uh, very similar, essentially from the same company. And also because they are reviewed quite a bit. Those watches seem like the go-to watches for a lot of um, YouTube reviews. And I wanted to bring uh, something a little bit different to you guys. And I love this blue dial. Wow, that looks that looks incredible. Let me zoom in for a bit of a closer look. I'm not disappointed for buying this specific model, this specific reference. Uh, I think it looks spectacular. I mean, this is uh, probably the cheapest proper diving watch you can get on the market right now, brand new. Look at that dome crystal. Wow, so the bezel is bi-directional is kind of a negative I wish it was unidirectional like on most diving watches I'm not sure actually if the whole case is stainless steel or is it just the case back if you guys know please leave a comment in the comment section below I believe the whole case is actually stainless steel but it could be a uh, chrome plated uh, brass like the Komandirsky is so I'm not sure if this one is actually uh, chrome plated or if it is fully stainless steel we have the crown at three o'clock position no date function on, on this watch it is hand winding that's what hand winding sounds like let's pull out the crown we have that wobble on the crown very 
uh, familiar to anyone who has one of these lost dogs in their collection. I just want to put the hands out of the way. Alright, so what does it say here? It said amphibia. I do speak Russian and I can read and write in Russian fluently. And then it says Autopadzavod, which basically means kind of automatic uh, for the automatic movement. And then it says 200 meters. And I'm guessing all these loom pips around our markings are loomed. And the hands also look like they're loomed. I love that red seconds hand. Uh, I think it gives uh, a little bit of a distinct character to the watch. <laughs> All right, so the case back we have Vladani Prenzame 200 meters, which means uh, waterproof 200 meters. Then we have Protivodarnia, that means it's anti shock, amphibia, so amphibian, and Autopadzavod, again, automatic. Yeah, and, they, and the strap feels pretty good too, it's, it's fairly soft. And I'm guessing this would be a very comfortable watch just in time for the summer. I think uh, this makes it a pretty cool uh, summer watch to have on your wrist. Uh, I, I can already see myself building a lot of cool memories with this watch, taking it on vacation with me and just having it as an all round beater watch. Uh, of course, I will wear it on my, uh, on my wrist for one week straight. And in a few weeks time, I'll do a full review of the watch, give you all the pros, all the cons, and uh, you know my final thoughts on the watch. But uh, my initial impressions are very positive. I am, I am glad that I went for this specific uh, model, for this specific reference, uh, and maybe I'll do some mods to it, who knows? Modding these watches is also very popular, so. I might want to do some, maybe some simple mods, maybe change the bezel or something like that. Anyways, uh, let me pop it on my wrist before I go. Here's what the watch looks like on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. I think it fits perfectly. Uh, it's not too big, it's not too small. It's, uh, it's a great size for a diver watch. And uh, again, I'm excited to wear it. I'm glad that I went for the one with the uh, rubber band, the rubber strap instead of a bracelet because um, I don't think I'm gonna replace this one. Okay. All right guys, so that was the unboxing of Bostock Amphibia. I am really excited about this watch actually. I'm excited to wear it on my wrist, to test it out, to put it through all kinds of different situations. From what I hear, this watch is pretty much undestructible. I do have a Vostok Kamandirsky in my collection and I love that watch. Uh, only 30 meters water resistance, but I went swimming with it and it held up fine no water moisture got inside the case at all. Now this one here being a proper diving watch with 200 meters water resistance, I am sure to take it to the beach, uh, to the lake, and to test it out as much as possible as a beater watch before I do a full review. I appreciate you watching until the end. Let me know what is your favorite Vostok Amphibia model uh, in terms of case, uh, the dial, and the uh, bracelet or rubber strap combination. There are countless Vostok amphibious and that's partly why it took me so long to purchase mine because I just wasn't sure which one to pick. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.